It's James Steinhubel on the Holy Handmade Channel, TVU, with your hosts, Vanessa and Toniak. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you, James? Very well, very well. Good to see everybody. What's on the go today? So joining us today, we have Corina with Fearless Heart, and we have Karina with Yellow Lark Studios. That's, uh, that's excellent. Well, let's get to know everybody. Uh, Karina with uh, Fearless Heart, tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Hi, um, I am a leather artisan. I make handmade leather bracelets with empowering messages. I believe we should stand in our truth and live in alignment with our values. And my work is meant to provide the wearer a reminder throughout their day to do those things. That's excellent. And now, uh, uh, Karina with uh, Yellow Lark Studios. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your business. So I create macrame pieces. It started a couple years ago when I saw this gorgeous hanger in someone's window and I have too many plants to count in my house. So I thought, well, that's something that I could be doing. And it just kind of exploded from there. So it started with the plant hangers and then I turned to wall hangings. I've experimented with keychains, clutches, and I just really love how it's a beautiful statement piece in your house that's harmonious, beautiful, you can pair it with something. And it's just a passion of mine. That's so good. Well, let's, uh, let's get in, into it. Let's start taking a look at your, uh, your web pages. So I'm just going to make sure I'm loaded up here. Um, now, uh, the internet tends to be a little slow in these times. We have many, many, many people sharing it. So just let me load it up before I share my screen. There we go. So I'm just going to share that. Thank you for your patience. And we're going to start with yourself, uh, Karina. We're going to take a look at your, uh, at your web page. So when you see it, just let me know, and then you can tell me what we're seeing. Are we there? Can you see it? I can see that you're starting screen sharing, but I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So you've got your own do domain name, fearlessheart.ca. Yeah. So uh, that's good. And so you've got a great logo. And now what are we seeing here? So this is the front page of my website. So um, here you can see uh, the different lines and the different things that I offer. So I do leather bracelets and cuffs. I also do accessories. So uh, necklaces similar to what I'm wearing um, and earrings. I do custom made instrument straps. So the straps there in that image are actually um, straps I did for the band Nice Horse. They use them, they use them actually when they were touring with Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. So it was actually a pretty cool thing. Um, I also do mixed media art. So I have uh, a, a link there for the arts and paper goods. So there's original artwork in there plus cards, greeting cards that I've created from my original artwork. I also have a kindness collection that is typically items that I donate proceeds. So the proceeds for the grateful bracelet in the kindness collection goes to the food bank currently. Okay. And just uh, there's yourself, your picture, yeah. Edmonton Me. It's all good. Yeah. And it's make it's all e-commerce up so they can all uh, buy with you. Now, where does, uh, is, is this a, a, a family passed down thing that you, or where did you, where did you get your uh, art and craft here? Uh, so I am connected with an online community called the Brave Girls Club, and I've gone to a, a retreat probably about 10 years ago, and one of the activities that we did at the retreat was making these leather bracelets with uh, words that were very empowering or very inspirational. It's, a, it's kind of a personal growth retreat. Um, so once I started doing, doing it there, I came home, I started acquiring all the tools you need to, to start doing this stuff, and I was doing it for friends and family, donating to to silent auctions and that kind of thing and then somebody suggested that I sell online and at the time I work I also Mike I'm trained and educated in the engineering field so I worked as a civil uh, engineering designer for many years and then it became too much to kind of maintain both my career and my hobby business so then I went full-time into my hobby business about five years ago so yeah so that's uh, that's that's very interesting that's, uh, that's a lot of insight into your art and um, you know, the, how it flows through your science because, uh, you know, engineering is certainly, um, you know, in-depth science. And now you're, you're, you're self Karina. I'm just, uh, I just wanted to make sure I had, um, your, uh, screen up properly. So it is, we're just going to, I'm going to share screen again. Mm -hmm. Just let me know when you can see it and then tell me what we're seeing here. All right. All right. So I can see it. 
you can see it. So we got it here. So your logo, you've got uh, you got macrame there. You know, it is such a uh, interesting art form. Tell us about it. So when I knot the cord together, I find it very meditative, mm -hmm. and that's where I kind of got my little tagline: creating Zen one knot at a time. So it's a passion of mine and I just like sharing it with the world because they're very beautiful pieces that you can share with others. You can um, just kind of look at it, feel calm. So the first one on the left, that's one that I did for a recent online market this past weekend. And it is going off to a lovely home just in a couple of days. And you can kind of see that I've also done a few keychains. So tassels are always fun. I love putting them on. Um, the macrame pieces itself, you can put them on your keychains, your wallets. Um, I've had someone put it on a little uh, coat zip, and then <laughs> so many plants. So I always make lots of plant hangers, and I know that plants right now are so popular. So I think everybody would really appreciate plant hangers. So then you can just alleviate your counter space a little bit. And so the clutch to the right, that one's something that I'm experimenting with and working on. My aim is to have that one complete sometime this year, and I'm trying to incorporate a little button so that it's actually very functional. Okay. Trying to find that. I like how macrame is making a comeback. I remember my mom had uh, macrame plant hangers uh, a long time ago, and it's I like that the that the art form is coming back. Yes, it's amazing. And I actually recently found out that my mom used to do it as well. So it was kind of neat to see the throwback and how we can relate to pretty much everybody with macrame. It is, uh, it is, it is, it is good. It is good. Okay. So that's, uh, that's very interesting. So now what we're going to do, we're going to give you an opportunity to uh, hold up any product that you want and, and display it and, and demonstrate it. So we'll, we'll start with you, Karina, if you'd like. Okay. So I'm always very intentional about what words I wear, kind of starting my day, I always pick the right words for the morning. Um, so some of the options I have, I, uh, one of the words I, I often choose is brave. I don't know how I can get this. So this one is a gold overlay on leather. I'm sorry if it's really hard to see. No, what that's good, that's good, that's good, yeah. Um, and then I do also just stamp leather right into, um, right into, or sorry, stamp words right into the leather. This one says La Vie Est Belle, so it's French for Life is Beautiful. And I wear that one quite often as well. Another favorite one I wear is Grace. I, my, my thinking is that it's always really easy to offer grace to others, but I need to remind myself to offer grace to, grace to myself. So that one is one that I wear quite often when I've got big things going on. And I also have a few showy pieces that are meant just to be pretty. So this is uh, one of my flowers, and that flower is all hand sculpted out of leather, and it's attached to a leather band as well. So those are just a few of the products that I that I make. That's lovely. Thank you. Appreciate that. And yourself, Karina. So I have one of my plant hangers here, and so the pot goes in the bottom, and I'm experimenting with two tone colors. Um, this is quite beautiful and it just kind of makes the plant pop a little bit more. Yeah. And then here's an example of a wall hanger. Nice. And I cooked all the driftwood myself um, from Canusa, Alberta. So it's about four hours northwest. So that's something I really enjoy doing. Um, and it's just part of how fun this craft can be. Mm. And then another wall hanger here. And this one, it's asymmetrical because no driftwood is the same. And so you kind of work with the pieces to kind of figure out what it's going to be in the end. It kind of tells you what it wants to be versus what I want it to be. And you also- How long does it take to make something like that? Uh, the one, the tassels, it did take several hours. I want to say between four and five. And the plant hanger takes about an hour. And then any experimental piece can take between, I'd say four to six hours, depending on like what I'm trying to create or if I'm trying a different um, pattern. And so there's lots of learning along the way. That's excellent, that's excellent. And yourself, Vanessa? 
you need the mic. Any any update for episode number six? So, uh, yeah, so for tomorrow, uh, we can anticipate uh, bath candy, uh, deer dog treats, and Jillian V Creative. That's fantastic. So that's been the uh, forum update, episode number six on the Holy Handmade channel on TVU. And we've had uh, Karina Cornell with Fearless Art and Karina Benoit with uh, Yellow Lark Studios. And, of course, our guest, Vanessa. And twenty. See you next time. Thanks, guys. See you.